Dr. Bramley Wan Bantai Biling Do Uba Dei Unong Seng Ya Kakin Hoon Eco Friend World Bat Uba Lapan Dep Ya Kecing Pule Haki Liang Ki Baya Dei Bat Kemariang Ula Lap Ba Kecing Don Garedation Om Tang Haki Jaka Ki Bala Pelang Ya Kijabo Na U Uranium Henry Wat Ki Ba Marjan Ka Johor Ba Ki Tahan Nong Ba Jenderin Ha South West Ka Sil Seswek U Dr. Bramley Wan Bantai Ula Ra Ru Da U Jing Tau Radiation Bala Tip Kum U Gai Ga Kong Term Kari kasi channel haba yakran bar u Dr. Bramley Ula yaitu bagadon kejeng ma ka bakraw Ka ba ap haka ni kesenong na kejeng klan ka radiation jong u uranium Haka ni kesenong bat kesenong ki pamarjan Ali mentang inya sengap ya kejeng yakran bar u Dr. Bramley wan bantai biling do Ani kasi ka wa jiwa na do pak chan nem menchwa First time na do 2005 Ani research is doon menta ka London School of Economics Ani pek ya kata ka logging ban Supreme Court logging ban mo Pek kawal sila Lend over high key bills at Tangana, he took a lot and then by rap because I got to go away. I broke off the logging ban in 96 or 2006 and a page post them in a poor situation for Domusia. She been now with the Uranium Minshwan, Quapi, Taki Tanks, and Slavic Tiki Tanks, and the Tiki Pori Glass Dangman Erode in 2005, in the late 2006, 2007. Then I took a public hearing, they can do a conspiracy. Bahagian jadi orang yang dalam bahagian dah ini ni, jadi kita yang begini, hari ini kita yang kata apa nggak benar apa, kerajaan kau beng no, kita tu school lo, kita tu LP school orang tua di Kenarit, orang bahagian sistem lagi, orang bahagian orang no mo, di nilai pecik kita kita wah, kita kita buat bagi selai orang kau tu, bagi bumbu slap, ini kita dah hajat siap lo, kita masih kita mau jadi konspirasi tu siap, siap 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 kelam bet, siap ni kerthor. Iksa niaw yang tiru tu kepo pada kawan mah. Jadi kalau kata kata tu kata eh kemari yang jeng tung jeng tebuk ini isu irap ki ki. Yang nak ki tu hadam mo. Hai hai. Isu tu hadam jeng long beli kau tu mana pay way way pun way berak hal dan tung tung si yang beli dan dan hadam tena na sebar menbam. Hai hai. Yang lagi long stand ki ki nasiwa lekat tu kejaga situ kepo long Saya soal bahate, kis 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 soal plum, kis kis tung. Bukan yang he u oranges mo. Ah, ni mentah apa way rumdan kelang babam kenyang lat. Nen pangalai taking mo, kami yo i taki. Masih asal tentang bakrak, bapai kedam ngatip. Hei kedam berakai. Nenawat, kelam piti kena senang situ ngelap berasal teli. Kelakrak tambah lat dan bawang sil menjadi nen dan kis kis ni ngatip. Yang fresh, nilap ke semen, nilap ke ke siap, nilap kita ke gravel, nilap kita trail, jangan kita pick up truck, kita bawa sedikit dam, terlalu dalam bawaan saya kita tim mana di event kita ni, kita ketiak dah ketiak pelat. Umur aku sangat pernah, saya kau tahu ngah try kadang contamination. Rab utuh gay gay meter, dengan tahu kan, dengan verify kadang dengan MA ni, kesmar tu, kita set, kita set ikut kita pipe, kita dengan kita kita tailing. Telling dams, mungkin itu kita dah sih serem kalau kefos kefos dam kita nak kita nak kendai kalau kita pipe kita kita pipe rokal aset tambah kelas tang mi yang tu kesimen dulu siap isu leh terti itu lah tapi government contract mungkin mana boleh leh ru tambah kalau radiation kalau klien pelat ani apa yang dua lah sepa hundred persen CPW atau one point two seven milijarex per hour dalam kebuat dengan yang tu thay Kita yuk artinya tengah sedang bleeding banyak po, kalau yuk cancer banyak slowly, but it's slow death. Here we are in the uranium tanks. This is the first one. As you can see, the leak or the crack has been sealed, and this job has just been done last week. And we've inspected this whole tank, and we found all the cracks have been sealed. But there are more tanks in the in the forest that are still left in the open, but. I don't know how long this will last, but it's been sealed by some cement and sand last week, and we saw some tracks of 4x4 vehicles coming here. So thanks for those who have raised the attention to the government to get this job done. But now we know that radiation is still high, even with the tank sealed, and we should not stay in this area for too long, because in the third tank, the radiation level was up to 400 CPW, which is very high. So if I were to stay here, Continuously for two months, I will probably die of cancer by the end of the two months with that 450 CPW measurement. So I advise people not to come here too often. And if you stay, maximum half an hour to one hour and get out of here. Somehow the radiation here is very high. It went up to 315 and it fluctuates in and out to 216. 
and <laughs> I think it's coming down from the. Oh, it's okay. Kita kaya hi tan bala. Lab onte. So it's fluctuating between 235 and 315, which is really high out here. And you can see there's a little stream right behind me. So what is whatever is happening here is affecting the entire stream behind. This leakage is coming through this little stream and straight into the riverlet. And that explains all the dead fish because this kind of high level radiation will impact all uh, life forms in this stream. So basically it's a, it's a dead stream and anyone who drinks this water will be in trouble. So this is proof to you that there's high radiation here and we should avoid staying here for too long. And uh, there's a high risk of even us uh, getting high exposure to radiation and getting cancer if we stay here for long durations of time. So just hanging around here for an hour or two is okay but we cannot stay here for long durations with this kind of radiation level. It's way beyond the permissible limit for our bodies to take on. So here we are in one of the three uranium tanks. As you can see, they have been sealed with concrete, these ventilating pipes. There are quite a few of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ventilating pipes. And the radiation here is up to 146, which is quite high. You can see. <coughs> It fluctuates between 137 and 146, so this is quite high. Uh, the maximum limit we can expose ourselves is up to 100, and then you would get cancer, anything beyond that. Actually, up to 100 you can get cancer, and this is pretty high. It's 146. When I came here earlier, uh, back in 2009, it was stinking. It was really smelling, because all the radon gas was coming out from these pipes. So obviously, this job has just been done last week, and the other tanks that have cracked have also been sealed. Uh, but we are still looking for one more tank that is way deep in the forest and we can't find that because it's been raining, it's wet and it's muddy and even the local guys said you'll have to hike for like 3-4 hours looking for the fifth tank. We've found four tanks and all these tanks have been uh, sealed, they were cracked, all the holes have been sealed but I frankly don't know how long this will last uh, and the leak, the, the, the gas coming up from these pipes but for now this is a temporary band-aid solution and uh, once you open Pandora's box, you can't close Pandora's box. So this is a temporary solution, but let's hope that uh, people don't hang around this area because radiation is very high and long-term exposure to this kind of high le level radiation will give you cancer, lung cancer for sure. So one of these pipes has just been sealed, but I don't think it's holding because it's already started to drip and there's some kind of smelly gas coming out from one of these pipes and all the concrete's already fallen off onto the ground so this job is obviously not done properly and it's gonna, not gonna hold for that long this one has been sealed but I don't know how long it will last and there are nine pipes on this particular tank one two three four five six seven eight nine so I'm here with uh, Ba Endis Aim, who is, uh, you know, one of the leaders from this village. And I hear from him very sad news that uh, after the public hearing in 2007, the authorities actually punished him and this entire community of nine families by removing the LP school and the teachers. So Ba Siem, can you tell us a little more what, what happened? Because I was there with you in 2007 during, during, during the public hearing. What happened after that? After the public hearing at uh, Nampak Zemim, uh, they are not uh, even uh, removed their school, but uh, they imprisoned one of the teachers of the school also, mm -hmm. because he is the Rangbakur, and, uh, and he teach uh, the school. So while he was uh, in the a prisoner, mm -hmm. the school was uh, removed from the village. So this, has there been any development ever since you said no to the mining of uranium here? Uh, no, we don't have any development except this uh, NRGS. Mm -hmm. That uh, also only uh, some 20 or 30 meters. So there's no electricity, there's no water, there's no sanitation and there's no school. The no, basic the basic necessities of every village. So I think this is a gross violation of the rights to development, especially for these young people, 
these young kids are next generation why should they suffer for the decisions you've made to protect their 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 future by not allowing them to mine uranium here because they they were the ones to be suffering right yeah yeah so this is a call to all my friends out there around the world listening that we need to help Bas Aim. He's a good friend of mine. I've been coming here since 2005 when I was doing research at London School of Economics. And uh, we need to help him build a school, even a bigger one. And we need volunteers, teachers to come and live here from anywhere in the world to teach these little kids, our little angels here, so that they can restore their forests, restore the soil through regenerative farming and create like a ecological tourism we will make this village shine again we will work with our friends we will welcome researchers from all over the world to come and, and join us in this crusade to restore this land and protect the forest uh, from being cut down from being made into charcoal restore the soil and plant fruit trees and stop the mining of uranium for generations to come to, 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 to protect their lives and, and their families and their generations for generations and generations to come ना <laughs> okay <laughs> ชาวนอร์ทอูนอร์นอร์สเนมฮะนี่ทําลงกันบันแอปพอลิติกส์กันกันอีกเบียวอันเป็นบันมองกี่กลุ่มเนี่ยเบลล่าบุกนั้นต
tinggi di bawah tunjuk bandang di klaw, tinggi di bawah aikam ni ikna sama situ kat bala di kijing ram tempuk kah yang tu kendor kat bala senyulon itlong om di bawah pay. Tak kibik kibik kam der dalam light ka, dada kam long ka light cepat di bawah leh dada sula om di bawah test kalau long kontaminat kam long kuih kat tu om di dada tu om sayap tu berohai. Kita kita di simple things bala bawah leh. Bisa kalau di post pak keluar saya ikut poin. Boleh ni kalau kita kibir yo saya ikut poin. Boleh mungkin boleh audit. Okay. Okay. Jadi kita tentang politik sudah mempunyai kibir yang tolong himu. Bagi kami Myanmar yang pen untuk judge mana ni baru hot jing ri jing tung jing tat pun kita kibir yo situ. Nah, kamu long kata apa kalau long ka gross violation of human rights and environment rights. Jadi dia show 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 di parang tu lah sa. Asa set patok lo kita kibir yo boleh kami ni kibir yo boleh judge untuk misalah. Nah, itu poin sejil baru hot. Well, here I am in Domosiat, back to this village after 11 years since we came here with my colleague Chris Stone from Small Seeds Film to make a documentary of the uranium mining project here in this village and the tanks. And uh, it's good to see this community here again after 11 years, but sadly there's been not much change or development here even after more than a decade, their school has been uprooted because they said no to the uh, public hearing back in 2007. There's no electricity, there's no proper water or sanitation, and it's just a small community of, um, you know, nine families. So nobody really gives a damn about this village here in Domosiat. But we did go down to the tanks below. We found uh, four main tanks and two smaller ones that are still leaking a lot of radiation, even though they have been sealed temporarily with some concrete and, and gravel. But the irony is that the radiation level is still very high, especially next to the stream, which is up to 1.2 millihertz per hour. So if we were to stand in that same place for two months, we would literally die of cancer and get lung cancer. But look at the state of this particular village. It's really sad. There's nothing much happening here and they need urgent help. We need to rebuild their school, a lower primary school for the kids. And I make a call to action to all my friends who are listening to this video to join us and uh, help make a difference in this part of uh, Meghalaya and Southwest Cassie Hills, which is really beautiful. And we need to regenerate their forests and create some regenerative agriculture and enjoy a beautiful sunset just like this. This is Bremley Lingdo signing off from Domosiat in Southwest Cassie Hills. Thank you very much for listening.